Next is Bull Tools 2. This one is simple, but very powerful. I think it was recently updated, and it does exactly what it says on the box. It gives you a set of operations that you can perform on your different objects, but that's not everything. The extension comes with a few settings and customization to help you achieve better cuts. For instance, this tool is designed for 3D printing in mind, so no more scaling shenanigans. It can also work with nested solids, and it does not create new components. Also, it maintains the layers and names, amongst other features. The tool also offers a new single object union tool where you can just click a single group or component to fuse all the nested solids inside it and the results are almost always consistent. But if there is any problem, the tool offers some settings that can help you with problematic cases. For example, the super robust mode. If the operation is not working as expected, merge coplanar faces for heavily triangulated faces, small model optimization if your model is small or has tiny edges. There is also heal solids, we will try to close any holes, I mean in the solid, before and after the operation in addition to many other things. But these options are better turned off, unless your boolean isn't working as expected, in which case you can experiment with them for the best results. And yes, there is a native boolean tool in SketchUp, but Bool tool is just more consistent and better. It doesn't break as easily for all the reasons I listed above, and it can be a great companion if you use SketchUp for modeling on a daily basis. Actually, most of these extensions and plugins are clearly made by people who really understand the struggle of designers and engineers when working with SketchUp. 